if you're someone who is looking to start the importation business or if you're looking to go to china on a trip or on a vacation alipay is an important app to have simply because most of the payment system in china accepts alipay most of the application you're going to be buying from or contacting merchants from accept alipay as a form of payment and most of the merchants you're going to be buying from are actually going to be paid you know using alipay so it is alipay is a very important application to have as an importer or someone who is looking to do business in china so in this video i am going to be showing you how to create an alipay account in 2025 now recently creating an alipay account with your phone number somehow doesn't work um because of a vpn error or whatever i don't know if they just restricted people from registering with their phone number or they just i don't know anyway in this video i'm going to show you how to successfully create an alipay account regardless of the fact that this vpn problem or this error while trying to register an account with phone number is showing so um make sure you watch the video to the end to see how it is done successfully and before i start the video I would like to mention that if you do not have an international passport, you cannot create, you can create an LEP account, but you can't use it because you literally need an international passport to verify your identity on LEP. And without verifying your identity, you can't use the app. So if you don't have an international passport, go and get an international passport. But for those of you that have, in this video, I am going to show you how to create an LEP account. And this method should work regardless of the country it is that you're inside. So without wasting much of your time let's get to the video so you're going to open your alipay application you're going to open that and um now you're going to notice that when i try signing up with my phone number okay when i try creating an account with my phone number which is my nigerian phone number i'm going to enter the phone number now and i'm going to click on sign up what you're going to notice is that it is not working it is just going to direct me to a page where it is going to say access denied so i don't know if this is if this happens for other countries but this happens for nigeria okay so if this is happening to you in ghana europe netherlands any other country it is that you are what you're going to do is instead of signing up with your phone number you're going to sign up with an email address okay so instead of signing up with phone number now i'm going to sign up with an email address so you should do the same sign up with your email address now I'm going to be signing up with my email address and I'm going to click on agree. It is going to take you to the next page and on the next page, you're going to be asked to complete a capture, okay? You're going to complete that and the next thing is it is going to load. And again, they're going to tell you to verify an operation by sliding this sheet inside the basketball. It could be different in yours, but just verify the capture. Now after verifying the capture, they're going to send an email. They are going to send an OTP to your email address. So you're going to enter that password here. Okay. You're going to fill in that password and um, you're going to create a password for your Alipay account, of course, a login password which you can use to log into your Alipay account anytime you, you know you want to log in, maybe on a new device. And that is how you create your Alipay account. On the next page, it is going to ask you to select your country. In my case, I'm in Nigerian, so I'm going to select Nigeria. Okay. And yeah, it is going to bring you to the Alipay homepage. So this is how you create an Alipay account to the homepage level. Now, the next phase is we're going to try to verify our identity on Alipay. Now, you need an international passport to verify your identity on Alipay. So to do that, you're going to click on account. And when you get to the accounts page, you're going to click on settings. And after clicking on settings, you're going to click on account and security. Okay. And from there, you're going to be clicking on identity information, okay? As you can see, it is showing verify now there. So you're going to be verifying your identity with your international passport. Now, if you do not have an international passport, you can't create an account on Alipay. Sorry, you need an international passport, okay? So it is going to ask you to fill in your ID card information. In my case, I'm just going to scan my passport so that it just automatically, automatically fills the information for me by itself, okay? So I'm going to give Alipay permission to my camera and I'm going to scan my passport. So that is what I'm about to do right now. So as you can see, this is my passport and I am scanning it. So after scanning your passport, it is going to automatically just fill in your name, your gender, your date of birth, the passport expiry date and all of that. And you're going to click on submit. And that is how you verify your ID on Alipay. 
now we are not done yet your ig has been verified but it needs to be authenticated okay as you can see it says my id has been verified but not authenticated but before we come to the authentication of my id card the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set a payment password first so you're going to go to payment settings and you're going to create a password the password is going to be a six digit code so just use any six digit code you're certain you're not going to forget okay and um the next thing i'm going to do is I'm going to set a nickname for the account. I'm just going to set a nickname anyway. You can do that. You can skip that if you don't want to set a nickname for your account. This nickname is like a business name. So let's assume you have a business. Instead of your name showing when they want to send you money, the business is going to show before your name. So everybody knows that um, they are sending money to this particular business. So in my case, I'm going to be using Vondo. So when you want to transfer money to me on Alipay, you're going to see Vondo first before saying, you know, um, my name right so after this the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to authenticate our id okay so you're going to click on that and you're going to complete the verification okay so in my case it is saying upload passport and verify face now this is most likely not going to work but let's just just try it so we're going to upload the passports of course my passport has been initially uploaded so it is just going to automatically say that my passport has been uploaded but it is going to ask for my face so we're going to verify the face now now i'm going to click on verify now and as you can see yeah that is my face on the screen so i'm just going to verify my face and now that that has been verified the next thing we're going to let's see if the authentication works anyway it doesn't so what i'm going to what you're going to do to verify this authentication is to use your passport chip okay so um let me quickly get my passport so to verify your passport chip you're going to this is my passport by the way so this is my passport and this is my phone you're going to place after clicking on verify passport chip so let me quickly click on that you're going to click on verify passport chip and when it directs you to this start verification page you're going to click on start verification and you're going to place your passport at the back of your phone uh, you can remove i've done that already anyway i'm just using this video as an example you can remove your back cover you can remove the back cover of your phone okay for it to work better you can remove the back cover of your phone and you're just going to paste you're going to place it like this right you're going to place it like this on the on the this thing you're going to place your phone like this on the passport and the scanner should automatically scan this chip this particular chip right here on your passport it is going to be scanned and that should verify your id so once your id is verified it is going to be showing like it is showing on my screen right now that you are verified and you can now send in and send out money on alipay using your new um, using this new alipay account that you've just created so i'm going to show you my alipay balance now so that you can see that money was sent in and out of the alipay account so this is how you create an alipay account in 2025 this is the method that works okay if you're trying to create an alipay account with your phone number it is most likely not going to work okay so um yeah if you found the video helpful click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video peace